A long time ago people forgot how to be kind, and this made God very sad. But Noah was different. He loved God and always did what was right. One day God said, Noah, build a big ark. I'm sending a flood to clean the earth, but I'll keep you, your family, and two of every animal safe. This channel is called the Judas Sketch Animation, and they only create animated Bible stories that are made using AI tools. According to view stats, they are getting about 6.4 million views, and they are making anywhere from $4,000 to $13,000 every single month. I will show you exactly how to create this type of animated Bible stories and begin uploading them on your YouTube channel. So the first step is niche research and content planning. So for our niche, we're going to focus on Bible stories, but you can choose any other niche that you feel and think is evergreen. And once we select our niche, the second thing that we need to do is to come up with video ideas. If you do not have ideas about the stories that are famous in the Bible, what you can simply do is just come to ChatGPT and give it a prompt that says, give me a list of 20 most popular Bible stories. From there, wait for ChatGPT to give you a list of 20 most popular Bible stories. Once ChatGPT is done, you can go through each of these popular Bible stories and select the one that you're going to start with. You can create videos on all all these are 20 most popular Bible stories, or you can just select a few. In this tutorial, we're going to select number three, which is Noah's Ark. From there, we're going to copy this same story and we'll paste it into the text box. So once we paste it here, we're going to tell ChatGPT to write a detailed story about Noah's Ark. We'll make sure that we give all the details to ChatGPT, like the tone of the voice, the characters, the scene, and the type of animation style that we want. And once you are done writing your text prompt, what you have to do is click on generate so that ChatGPT can generate the entire full story for you. Once that is done, we're going to give ChatGPT this next prompt that is going to help us generate images that we're going to convert into videos and blend them together to make a full video. And once you give it that detailed prompt, what you have to do is click on generate and wait to see the results that ChatGPT is going to provide you. Make sure when you're generating your images that they remain consistent throughout the entire video. And if you want to learn more on how you can create consistent characters, I'll pin a video above that walks you through how to create consistent characters throughout your story. And once that is done, this takes us to step number two, which is generating images for our story. And the tool that we're going to use to generate images for our story is Leonardo AI. So just come up to Leonardo AI and once you are there, log in if you already have an account. If you do not have an account, sign in with your Gmail address. From there, just click on launch app. And once you're there, you're going to select on image creation. And once you're there, just go back to ChatGPT, copy the first prompt, come back to Leonardo. In the text bar here, we're going to paste in our prompt. From there, we're going to play with a few settings. On the model, we'll just leave it to Phoenix 1.0. And on the prompt enhancer, we're going to turn it off. And on the contrast, we'll leave it to medium. And we'll make sure that the generation mode is fast. Then make sure that the image dimension is 16 by 9. And we'll leave it on medium. And from there, the number of images, we'll leave it to 4. Once that is done, we'll go back to our prompt and we'll click on the generate button. Okay, so Leonardo has just finished generating the images for us. Let's look at the first one. Okay, this is just so wonderful and very amazing. I love how the image is looking. If you do not like the way the images have been generated, you can play with your prompt and from there, click on regenerate and see what results Leonardo AI is going to give you. And once that is done, you can compare the two and see which one you prefer and you'd love to use in your project. Once that is done, we go back to ChatGPT who we'll copy the second prompt, we'll come back to Leonardo AI, and we're going to paste the prompt there. From there, we'll click on Generate and see the results that Leonardo is going to give us. Okay, this is just so wonderful. I love how this image is looking very interesting, and we can see the very big board that Noah is creating. We'll close this one. So we keep on repeating the same um, process until you get those uh, fine detailed images that you're going to use for your entire project. So once your images have been generated, what you have to do is just hover your mouse on your image and you see this download icon. So select the image that you want to work with in your project and download them into your PC. 
And once that is done, the third step that we need to do is to animate our images. So there are many tools that you can use to animate your images. You can use Leonardo AI. That's if you are on a paid plan. If you are on a free plan, what you're supposed to do is come to Google and search for Vivago AI. You can use any other AI tool that you understand better, which can turn your still image into a motion image. Just click on this first link that pops up. From there, we're going to click on a try for free. So once we are on this page, what we're going to do is we'll come to the video generation. From here, we have three options. We've got image to video, we've got text to video, and we've got remove background. So we're going to select image to video, and we're going to upload our image here. And once our image is uploaded like that, we're going to select our dimension. Make sure that you select a 16 by 9. From there, just click on confirm. So from this prompt box here, you can describe what you wanted to do, but I will go back to ChatGPT and I will copy the first prompt because this is where we had generated our image from and I will paste the prompt here. Then I'll scroll a little bit on the duration, I'll leave it to 5 seconds. Then on the motion strength, I'll leave it to 7 as it is. Then it is going to cost me 30 credits. I'll click on generate. Okay, so it has just finished generating the image for us. It's just so outstanding. I don't want to know what it's trying to do, but this is all based on the prompt that we've given it. Before we download our video, you can play with a few settings here at the bottom, like remixing your video, or you can retry it again, and you can also enhance your video. You can also remove the background. So I'm going to double click on my video, then I'll come to this download button here at the bottom and I will click on it so that my video can be downloaded into my PC. And once the video is downloaded, we're going to cancel this one and we'll go back and we're going to delete this image. We're going to upload a second image where Noah is building the arc. From there, we'll leave the dimension to 16 by 9 and we'll click on confirm. From there, we're going to paste in our prompt here. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to paste in the prompt that ChatGPT has generated for you, but you can also type in your own prompt based on the action that you want to see on your character. I'll leave the settings the way they are and I'll click on generate. So it has just finished generating the video for us. So I'll download the video into my PC. From there, I'm going to make sure that I repeat this same process of uploading an image and generating it or converting it into a video until I am done. Once you are done turning your images into videos, this takes us to step number four, where we need to convert our text into an audio. And to do that, we're going to use Eleven Labs. So on Eleven Labs here, we're going to go back to ChatGPT and we're going to copy our story. And I'll paste the story here. And from there, I'm, I'll come to voice and I will click on this button and I will choose a voice that I prefer. So go through these voices and select the one that aligns with your story. From there, I'll click on the generate button. So if you are pleased by how the voice sounds, what you have to do is download it into your PC. So once you are done generating your audio, this takes us to step number five, where we need to generate or create a full video. And the tool that we're going to use is CapCut. So once we're on CapCut, we'll click on create project. And here on our media panel, we're going to import our media, both the videos that we've generated and the audio that we've generated from Eleven Labs, like that. Then the first thing that we're going to start with is our audio file. We'll drag our audio file here. Then the second thing that we need to do is to start bringing in our video files and making sure that we align them with the audio file. The other thing that we can do is we can remove these spaces. That's if we want to. So once you are done aligning your audio with your video files, the next thing that you need to do is to add some transitions between these two files. For example, you can come to the transition box here on top, click on it. And from there, you can select any of these transitions. That's if you want to add transitions between your files. I can click on this black fade transition and place it here and check how everything looks. You can click on apply to all. That's if you want to apply the same transition to all of your media files. Once that is done, the next thing that you have to do is to add some captions to your video. Just come to caption here on top and make sure you select auto caption. And from there, click on generate. Okay, once our captions have been generated, while they are still selected, I'll come to text here and I will change the font style. I will change the font color and I'll play with my settings to make my caption very appealing to my audience. 
audience. I can also animate my, my fonts by coming to the animate button here on top. And from there, I can choose any of these type of animations that I want. And once that is done, you can add your background music to your video. And you can also add some effects and filters and just play with some little adjustment to make your video pop out and outstanding. And once everything is done, what you're supposed to do is just come to the export button and save your video into your PC and your video is ready to be uploaded onto your YouTube channel. From here, let me show you how the final product looks. And if you find value in this video, subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure you check out this video because more value awaits you. God bless you. A long time ago, people forgot how to be kind and this made God very sad. But Noah was different. He loved God and always did what was right. One day, God said, Noah, build a big ark. I'm sending a flood to clean the earth, but I'll keep you, your family, and two of every animal safe. Noah worked hard, building the giant ark as everyone laughed at him. When it was ready, animals came two by two, elephants, lions, birds, and even ants. Once everyone was inside, the rain began, 